Well, we decided to finally bite the bullet and just get a shop. I have outgrown my carport entirely. So now we have plenty of room for activities. Lots of builds can go on here. Lots of really good videos. So I'm excited to announce that Import Logic now officially has a shop. We've got the Del Sol out here. Uh, we plan on doing a turbo kit on this before too long. And the Z, uh, which unfortunately is not turboed at the moment. I have taken off the rear mount turbo temporarily so that we can do a top mount kit. I didn't get to document all of that because of the holidays and everything and it's been really busy. And this thing is a problem child. So we've done quite a bit of work to this already and kind of have undone some of the work we've done by bashing it in the woods. We have new control arms, new strut, both the front and back control arms are replaced. Subframe and everything is still good and in good shape. We have a new core support right here and a new fender. All of this ended up being straight after the wreck. The main issue, I don't know if you can see, if you look at this frame horn and this frame horn, this one's bent this way and this one is bent this way. So we didn't quite realize that we we're gonna have frame damage when we ended up picking this thing up but luckily it's not too bad. So we've got a bit of a game plan on how we're gonna bend these back. If you look at how much they're bent, it's quite a bit. They're both pushed over at least three inches this way. We couldn't tell that until we started tearing everything down and realized things weren't lining up. But it bent right here. You can see where the paint had cracked right there and it's pushed in. And then the same thing, this one is pulled and it's buckled right here. It goes all the way down. So we're gonna cut with a Sawzall this portion and then cut down this line and then slice the bottom. So we weaken this side and leave this side intact. And the same thing, but opposite over here, we're gonna cut this and then take the power steering pump and the alternator off and slice on the inside of this frame rail. And we should be able to sledgehammer these things over. The goal is to just weaken them so we can get them bent back into place. Sounds like game plan to me. Hey, no, go on. Hey, no, go on. All right, we got both of them cut. So we should be able to straighten these both back out. It actually ended up being a lot easier to bend than we thought. So we'll put the core support on and then start stealing parts off my Z to make this one straight. <laughs> so we're taking off my bash bar to put it on here and make sure everything's lined up. I guess we should just put all the stuff on like the headlights and our headlight brackets and my front bumper that's over there and everything and get everything lined up to where like the headlight gaps were the same and the fender gaps work and like tighten everything down and then weld those wire things on it mm -hmm. and then take everything back off. I think that makes sense. Yeah. All right. So this is the good headlight bracket. This is the not so good headlight bracket. I looked these up on eBay and they were like $250 a pop. So I think we're gonna have to hammer this one back. Wiggle it. <laughs> no! Headlight going in. I'd say we have more adjustment to do. Yeah, I think the whole frame needs to come over some. We can loosen these just a little bit and it'll give us room to pull. Yeah. All right, we've got good news and bad news. Good news is we have the fender on, we have the headlight on, core support, all of that after we cut the frame and it kind of sort of lined everything up, but we didn't anticipate that the frame is also bent right there. So it's bent here 
and we cut it and got that to relief and it moved over but just not quite enough and you can see how it's straight here and then bends back so again we don't have a frame machine so we're just going to cut on this side and have two reliefs and then see how that goes so we're going to have to uh, plate it and weld it all back well guess what we get to do now a... take all that back off <laughs> we ended up cutting the frame yesterday and put the headlight brackets on and bent that one back and come to find out they're both tweaked and we're not able to get it lined up. And so I know mine are good. So we're gonna take my headlight brackets off temporarily and put them on this one. So everything lines up and then we'll weld in where we cut the reliefs and it should be straight. <laughs> Well, we got this thing relatively straightened out. The It's still a little bit off, but we were able to get my bumper from my Z on and my headlight brackets to get the frame in a, in a better spot so that we can weld it. So we'll come back tomorrow and get that all welded up. My Z's looking pretty poor right now because I stole all my parts off for your damn car. But that's it for this video. Bye.